Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove no spears in Photoshop. And also, we will dive deeper into duplicating layers using Spot Healing Brush Tool and with the use of a Clone Stamp Tool for the final touch. So let's get started! So here in our document, I got here an image of this pretty woman where you can see that she has a no spears. And our goal is to remove that. So, so the first step here is we're going to create a duplicate layer of our background layer. So going onto the layers panel, select on the background layer and right click on it and choose duplicate layer. And we're going to name this layer as spears remove and then select. Okay. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. Going back. Now, once we already created that, here's remove layer. I'm going to click on it. And now this time, we're going to start removing that with the use of a spot healing brush tool. Okay, but before we do that, I'm going to increase the size. I'm going to press on the zoom tool here in the toolbar. Click on that. And then make sure that it's plus. And then keep on clicking on the area that we're going to fix on. Okay, with this pierce remove layer is selected. Now I'm going to use the spot healing brush tool. So to find that going onto the toolbar on the left side of our screen, you can see this symbol. Okay. That's the spot healing brush tool. All right. So for the options, make sure for the mode that is set to replace for the type that must be on the content aware and then sample all layers that must be ticked. Now we may now start using the spot healing brush tool. So you just have to just click on the part that you want to remove on. So just like this, I'm just going to hit one click on this part. So that's the magic of the spot healing brush tool. Okay, now we already removed that here. Also in this part. All right, you can also adjust the size. So by just pressing the close bracket key to adjust the size okay so you can see that it's already fit enough for this pierce to be removed so just one click on it you can see it's almost done and decrease the size by pressing the open bracket key and there you go we already removed that so i'm just going to zoom this one out okay let's see if we did it well Okay, yeah, but you can see that there are areas that are are not that smooth. Okay, so now we're going to the final touch. So now we're going to make use here of the clone stamp tool to fix on those things. Just like this area, you can see inside his her nose, there's that white thing there. Okay, so to find a clone stamp tool, go into the toolbar, just find this symbol, click on it, or press S for the shortcut key. Okay. And then let's zoom this one in. All right. Press S for the for the clone stamp tool. And then use this one. Hold L, and then get a sample from near the skin that we're going to apply on. So I'm gonna click on that and then click on this. Okay. There you go. So see, now we already just removed that. Okay. And also on this part, so I'm just going to. Get a sample from a clean area and then paint over on this. And there you have it. Okay, now I'm gonna zoom this one out now. All right, so now I mean, I'll show you the before and after. So this one is the before and this one is the after. And that is how to remove no spears in Photoshop. 